Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Adam Hansen. I'm Anthony Deco. So many times when we're responding for an odor of smoke in a commercial type occupancy, we enter through the front door and are greeted with an odor of rubber burning and sometimes a light haze near the distributor vents of the ductwork. After ensuring the building is in fact not on fire, one of the first things we're going to want to do is ask an employee, the manager, or someone if the HVAC system was running at the time of the 911 response. If it was, these are all signs that point to a possible burnt out belt or a worn out belt within one of the rooftop units. So in order to get conditioned air moving throughout the ductwork, we need what's called a motor and a squirrel cage blower and also a belt that kind of makes both of them work. This belt over time, whether it be the belt being too tight, the belt being too loose, old age, dry rot, you name it, they will eventually fail if they're not tended to. And when this happens, the belt gets so hot to the point where it starts to burn up, heat up, and it'll actually send that odor and that smoke out throughout the ductwork and down into the different compartments that serve the actual buildings down below. As you can see, there's many compartments within a rooftop unit. Instead of opening up random service panels and wasting time, wasting energy, wasting resources, there's a simple thing to do if you're suspecting a worn out belt or a burnt out belt. We have this sticker right here. And if you locate the sticker with a hand caught in a sheave, this is going to tell you that that motor and that fan motor and most importantly that belt that we're investigating is going to be behind the service panel and again it's going to take it's going to save you a lot of time and frustration and you're going to know where to start so we're going to remove this service panel so once we locate the sticker with the hand caught in the pulley and remove that service panel we're going to look inside and like this right here we have a belt that's lying on the base of the compartment. This belt is obviously completely burnt out. We found the root of the cause of the odor and the smoke. We're gonna take the unit out of service, lock it out, tag it out, and tell them to call an HVAC repair person. However, it's not always that easy. Sometimes the belt could still be attached to the pulley system, and that's why we really need to put our hands on the belt to actually investigate to see if there's any other types of problems going on with it. This belt right here has a significant tear, but unless you put your hands on the actual machine and actually look at the belt, you would never notice that and you would move on to another RTU and keep that one running. The next belt has even less of a tear. It's very subtle, however, it is enough to produce a smoke condition and that odor. So once we find that this is damaged, it must be shut down, locked out, and tagged out. Sometimes after determining that a unit is out of service, you're gonna look down here and there could be a spare belt ready to be installed for the one that's burnt out or worn out. However, we are not licensed HVAC technicians. Do not try and replace this yourself. Simply notify the property manager or the owner to contact a licensed H HVAC technician and they will come and handle this. Simply shut the unit down, lock it out, tag it out, and be on your way. Again, my name's Adam Hansen. I'm Anthony Deco. And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.